good afternoon guys so i've been driving for like 30 minutes now and i noticed this particular car following me when i tried to speed up he speeds up and try to overtake me and i'm just trying to beat him all along putting all my james james bond driving into into place I don't know what's happening. I'm just making this video with my phone right now. I don't, I don't know what is. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if you can see the car. The car is just right behind me. I'm driving, you guys, so I need to concentrate. I'm along Ada Church. I'm along Ajib Ajib Road. I'm along Ajib Road right now. I'm just making this video. I don't know. There shall be no loss for over 30 minutes. The guy just been behind me. I'm very conscious when it comes to driving and someone following me for this long. How come it's not a coincidence that can we be going the same direction at the same time? I don't know. I just I'm just making this video. But Saying there shall be no loss, there shall be no evil report, there shall be no loss, there shall be no evil report. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no loss, there shall be no evil report. There shall be, I'm, I, I just got to a very busy place around Ajib now. Uh, I just got to a very busy place. So the guy is, is really, really behind me. And I don't know, you guys cannot see the car. It's really it's just behind me, like there are four vehicles before him. So he cannot catch up with me. He cannot catch up with me. He can never catch up with me. Who does this people want? Oh my god. The shabby numbers. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is so scary. Oh my god. Thank you, Jesus. I'm currently at. Um, Here's this place again. How'd you fly over? What's that good? How'd you fly over? Mm. Yeah, this is very, this is a busy place. So I'll talk to you guys later. Let me just concentrate and drive. I'm actually using one hand to drive and one hand to make this video. So I just need to concentrate. A few inches later. Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Excuse me. What a day, what a day, Lord Jesus, hey guys, oh, let me just calm down, I'm back, oh my god, you guys, I just got back home, that was the most terrifying moment of my life, oh, oh god, Uche, come back, come back, come back, come back, Uche, just come back, come back, Girl, yeah, come down, come down, come down. <sighs> Quick one. I went to, I run errand. I went to my shipping company to deliver some goods. I was going to the US. Then I went to my son's school to pay for uh, the, for bus. You understand? Because I don't do school run. The school bus picked my son up. So all of that, I was supposed to go to the market. I was supposed to go to the church because I want to start learning, um, advanced editing so all these things was all my routine so i picture out where to drive and all whatnot I, I don't know why i'm saying all this but you guys it's all what happened thank god i picked up my phone to start recording immediately because if i sit in here and start explaining to you guys uh, something you it will not be real like see is i don't you see you guys it can't be a coincidence that someone is just behind you for more than 45 minutes what and the point that we'll get to very isolated place if you're familiar with port Harcourt, you know ego island right that place can be so isolated because they have this water side there so like 
when when I went out, it was off peak time when people have gone to work, people have gone to school. You know, around 11, 11, 30, 11, 30 12. So it just that place is always very isolated. So I found out that immediately I just came out from that place, like from my one linking up to Igbo Island. They started just following me, like you know. So me, I was careful. I started trying to speed up. Try to speed up, they'll try to overtake me. I'll try to maneuver. You know, this is this was going on for over 15 minutes. Not until we got to where people were, like there was a police checkpoint. Which, of course, you all know how Nigerian police work these days. Like, this is just me. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not even supposed to explain anything right now. You saw everything, like the way I was able to see. I don't know because I I don't know what to say. I'm speechless because I won't say they are not or they are. You understand? Like, I don't care. The, the good thing is <laughs> I escaped. The good thing, I don't want to know if they are actually kidnappers or if they were not kidnappers. Do you understand my point? I don't even care to know because I might be saying, oh, it might be a coincidence that they were going, actually going my direction and, you know, and all those. Uh, what if they were actually following me? You know, so I don't even want to think of any <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I'm rambling too much in this video. I just got back. I just had to drink this water to calm myself down. Like I was supposed to go to the market, go to the other places. I had to postpone my trip, and I said, let me just come back home. And that I would know, my husband is not around, and I'm just the only one around. My kids are not even back from school, so I have to just rush back home. Let me relax. If I have any video to edit, let me just edit. And that's why I said, let me put on my camera to just conclude this video. You guys just thank God for me because I don't know, like, you everybody knows the whole insecurity happening in Nigeria now. The, especially in Port Harcourt, you see videos upon videos upon videos where they kidnap people. It's not even our portion. We are children of God. So the Lord is our chauffeur. He's always he's our present help in time of need. He's always there to protect us. Like we cannot fear their fear. I wasn't afraid. No matter the strategy the devil is using right now in our country, Nigeria, everywhere we live, especially the insecurity is something that is all over Nigeria right now. And everyone need, just needs to be careful. So I think that was a professional driving for me. Like I'm gonna give myself a one driving right now because I, I can't do. I, I'm I'm not a speed driver on a normal day. I I, I maintain my lane and just drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had that over many years. I've been driving. I've never had accident to bash someone or someone badging me. I'm always very careful. But today I've. Just see, I see this video, it's so scattered, so just bear with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. Yeah? Like I'm talking too much. This is just me saying thank God. Thank God, thank God, God is good. I'm back home and uh I'm back home. God is good. I'm gonna end this video here. Yeah? If you see my face for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. It's what I'm gonna do just copy and paste and upload on YouTube. That's all. Bye. See you. Just help me say thank you, Jesus, in the comment section, please. If you have any your language, help me thank God in your language. Thank you. Bye bye.